On this day, the 4th of February, 1555, the martyrdom of John Rogers. John Rogers was born around 1505 in Birmingham. He was educated at the Guild School of St John the Baptist in the city before studying at Pembroke Hall, Cambridge University. He became the rector of Holy Trinity the Less in London. In 1534, John was appointed chaplain to the English merchants among the company of merchant adventurers and travelled to Antwerp. Here, John came into contact with William Tyndale and was convinced to abandon the Catholic faith. After Tyndale's execution for heresy the following year, when he was strangled and then burnt at the stake, John continued Tyndale's work of the translation of the Bible into English. John worked next at the University of Wittenberg. During his three years there, he became a close friend of Philip Melanchthon, another influential early Protestant. In 1558, after the death of Henry VIII and the accession of the Protestant Edward VI, John returned to England, becoming divinity lecturer at St Paul's. When Edward died and was succeeded by his Catholic sister Mary, John preached in favour of the Protestant faith and was amongst those swiftly arrested as Catholicism was restored to England. On the 16th of August 1553, he appeared before the council and was placed under house arrest. In January 1554, the new Catholic Bishop of London sent John to Newgate Prison, where he and other Protestants languished for a year. On the 22nd of January 1555, two days after new laws came into force to deal with religious heresy, John was amongst a group of eleven brought before the council again. A week later, he was sentenced to death by Bishop Gardiner for heresy, having denied the authority of the Roman Church and the presence of Christ in the sacrament. John Rogers was offered a pardon if he would recant, but he refused to do so. On the 4th of February 1555, he was burned at the stake at Smithfield, becoming the first English Protestant martyr to be killed under Mary's Catholic restoration in England.